Well, greetings, this is Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon, here on the Handheld Hack Netcast. The Handheld Hack is a netcast dedicated to handheld devices of all kinds. And so I'm glad you could join us for the Handheld Hack. Now, let's talk about some of the things that we've kind of didn't talk about, haven't talked about, that's maybe a better way of saying it, since the last netcast, which was netcast number one. Mustache hitches. <laughs> so this would make this netcast number two. Let's make it like a peace symbol, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood, as you can tell. All right. The Tegra 3 CPU is five times, not ten times, five times faster than the Tegra 2. Dude. It's a quad core CPU for handheld devices. That's just awesome. And that is codenamed Kal-El, as in Superman. Da, da, da. The Adventures of Superman. In this case, the Adventures of a CPU with a quad core for handheld devices. How awesome is that? Anyway, neat stuff. Now, after an OS upgrade, iPhones still have battery issues. Yes. That is something that's kind of old news. It was reported back on 11 November. I'm going to skip over these old ones because they're old. Eh. Siri-like voice recognition coming to the Kindle? Yes, indeed. Possibly so. They are working on that. And that's because uh, the uh, Amazon bought, invested in, a company that's in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, that basically has voice recognition. And so they're probably bringing that over. Now here's something that was cross-posted uh, from Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudge in the other netcast that I do. And that is talking about how you can make it up with volume. Talking about the Kindle. Basically, that the Kindle Fire, when they did an experimental teardown of it, they found out that it cost three dollars more than Amazon is selling it for. So in other words, they lose three dollars on every sale. However, I used, the, I, I made the joke that they make it up with volume, and that's really, of course, you can't make up sales with volume if you're selling it cheaper than it costs to make it, but because they're selling it in volume, uh, then they can sell lots and lots of books, which is their real business anyway. So it works. You know what I'm saying? All right, next item. Also cross-posted from Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. You can tell that Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a very informative blog. Yes. All right. And that is HP is now the number two tablet maker, which is fairly amazing, given that Apple is the number one tablet maker. And now HP is the number two tablet maker. And HP basically got out of the tablet business. How weird is that? Oh, look, I just got beeped. Let's check the old beeper and see if it's anything absolutely vital and important. And it's not, which is a good thing because I'm on call this week. And uh, sometimes they send these little inform informational pings that I don't have to do anything with, which is a good thing because that way I won't have to stop doing the netcast. Uh, some of you are saying, but you did stop because you have stopped, right? Yes, well, there we go. I had to delete it. You know, otherwise, it'll just keep beeping me and beeping me and beeping me, and you know how that just gets annoying. All right. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Yes, I was talking about Kindle. Fire sales. Fire sales. Kindle is on fire. Another beep. Ah, <sighs> yes, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, well, that's fine, too. You know, it's hard to do netcast when you're on call, but sometimes you just have to deal, you know what I'm saying? All right, the Kindle sales are on fire! That's because three to four million Kindles have been shipped. Five men are expected to be shipped by 2012. 
That's also cross-posted from Dr. Bill, so you can get more information by watching the drbill.tv show. Yes. Cyanogen mod for Kindle will be available this weekend. As I record this right now, it's available this weekend. So, that is the Cyanogen mod mod it's hard to say, 7 port is coming to the Kindle Fire. So if you don't like the Kindle Fire's regular operating system as it is, then you can port the Cyanogen mod uh, operating system, Android operating system to it through Hackery. And you know we're all about Hackery here on the Handheld Hack Netcast. Haha! -ha. So there's information here about that. I'd encourage you to check that out. And then here's the one that I was waiting on. <laughs> the most recent post. And that is the Android market on the Kindle Fire. It can be done. These are instructions how you can put the Android market on your Kindle Fire. This has been like a Kindle Fire edition, almost, of the handheld hack. But it has the steps. Step one, two, three, all the way through step eight. Eight steps to put the official Android market on your Kindle Fire tablet. Dude. So, worthwhile stuff. Information we provide for you here at the handheld hack. Sorry for all the interruptions with the beepery, but what are you going to do? Know what I'm saying? You might say, well, Dr. Bill, you could just start over and do the whole netcast over. Yes, but where would the fun be in that? <laughs> so, enjoy the strangeness of having your netcast interrupted with a beeper. Hey, it interrupts me and my life while I'm on call. It should also interrupt you. Just saying. So, remember, until next time, you're only as good as your last hack.